Good evening, Ronnie. Good evening. Hello, uh, Ronnie. You've certainly... Yeah, hi, how, how are you doing, Perry? How are you doing, Jason? Um, yeah, very well, Ronnie. Brilliant. You've certainly entertained us, um, you know, uh, in that, yeah. But I, I don't want to talk about the second best manager in the league. I want to talk about the best manager in the league. Okay. And, uh, so, is Guardiola. Definitely, definitely. Well, do you know what? I'm going to be honest. That's the only other manager that I would, I would have other than Brendan Rodgers and Matt's Pep. Um, what he has done for the club, he's, you know, he's instilled an overwhelming desire to do well uh, within all the players, man- manifesting itself in the results, the team ethos, the togetherness, um, you know, and, and he's come up with new ideas and innovative ideas. Um, last season, you know, we had a couple of injuries. Uh, you know, Champions League was almost nailed on. There was a little bit of a mini collapse, you know, and I think a lot of the, a lot of the pundits, you know, feared that that's exactly what would happen. And I have no such fears, you know. He's come up with a new system, uh, despite the fact that, you know, I know you've alluded to this. We had key players, uh, injuries to key players. So, you know, Madison, who who is, you know, the centre of our creativity. Um, however. Um, you know, we we haven't really missed the likes of Madison Barnes, Justin, um, because he, you know, he's so innovative, um, and I am so ecstatic. You yeah. know, I have never ever seen Leicester in a semi FA Cup semi final. Uh, Is I was it four finals? The last time that happened. Is it yes. four finals? You've had Leicester four. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, yes. Unfortunately, yep. Um, uh, I, I know one of them was when, when Spurs won the double as well, so <laughs> that, that's not very very pleasant. But uh, I was the happiest man on earth yesterday uh, because a team that I would love to beat is Man United. <laughs> and uh, I, I am normally fearful. You know, when they equalised, I thought, oh, here we go again because we completely and utterly outplayed them. Uh, in the first half. Do you know, Ronnie? And, go on, go on. Yeah. Go on you know, go Ronnie, on. what he's done there, you said you've had, last season when you when you fell away, and Didi was injured for a pe- long period of time, wasn't he? Jamie yeah, Vardy got injured, and you had a squad that, if two or three of your best players were out, then that's mm-hmm. when you struggled. But you said there, he's gone to three at the back, um, yeah. you're out, you're three of your best players. Inacho, what he's done is put Inacho up front with Jamie Vardy. So Inacho yeah. scoring, Jamie Vardy's now become... But it like, like allows a, you to do that. Exactly. And so he's, what you said there, you've got an experienced manager who's looked at the players, well, value one, gone, right, this, is, this group of players at the moment suits this way of playing. So if, then if you put that with Jurgen Klopp, what he's done at Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp hasn't come up with a system that is going to suit that group of players. He still tries to go his 4-3-3 three, three and put uh, midfield players at, at centre-half, yes. and it yeah. hasn't worked, yeah. where... To be fair to Bren Rogers, yeah. he has, and he improves players And also, Perry, on, on that as well, the recruitment at Leicester is magnificent. And if you, this is not going back just a couple of years. This is going back, I know that it was, um, who was it, Steve? Who was the recruitment? Come on, Steve Walsh. Yeah. And he went, event, went to Everton, Everton. Quite work, work out at, at Everton for it. But behind the recruitment, whoever it's been at any time at Leicester has been magnificent and this goes back to Mares, and then you can go back to N'Golo Conte and then you look at the other players that's come in James Justin that's come oh, in Didi the, you know it, it's an endless list and you know what the most impressive part about Leicester is that they will sell players at the highest price but they rating, know right? but they know they're going to but they get a replacement for them and the team doesn't suffer that's the most impressive so part so on to Maguire there you go